okay there is a problem here a stone is thrown horizontal with a velocity g meter per second from the top of the tower of height g meter the velocity with which it hit the ground is okay so actually this is the top of the tower this is the top of the tower so the height of the tower is equal to the given g meters and uh, a stone is uh, projected with the initial velocity g meter per second and uh, it is uh, reaches to the ground at this point at what time uh, sorry uh, the velocity with which it is the ground so now what is the velocity final velocity of the body with, uh, with the hit, hit the ground at what velocity the stone is hit the ground we need to calculate for that first we need to find out at what time it will reach the ground time so this is nothing but free fall body only so now here uh, given uh, given u is equals to g meter second power minus 1 height also g meters g meters and uh, final velocity at ground we need to calculate before that time so time to reach the ground time taken to reach the ground so now t is equals to root over 2h by g1 so now 2 into h h is equals to g meters by g so g g gets cancelled time t is equals to root to 2 seconds okay now velocity at ground so now we need to find out velocity at ground final velocity so this is the velocity at ground this is horizontal vertical horizontal so vertical and horizontal vertical and horizontal v is equals to vxi cap plus vy j cap so vx is always remains constant that is equals to ux that is g meter second power minus 1 only. and vy we need to calculate vy is equals to uy plus uh, gt uy is equals to 0 at any uh, horizontal projection initial velocity of the vertical component is 0 plus uh, g t t is equals to how much root 2 seconds that means vy is equals to root 2 g so now we are going to substitute these values in this equation so v is equals to uh, vx vx is equals to g so g i cap plus uh, root 2 g j cap now i am going to find out the magnitude magnitude is equals to x square plus uh, y square so x means here uh, g g square plus root 2 g whole square root over so now here g square plus 2 g square root over so now that is nothing but 3 g square root over now velocity at ground velocity at striking point is equal to root 3 g this is the answer so now option 3 is the correct